Hi folks, I'm Emily Mitchell, your Council on Aging Director. The topic on everyone's mind these days is vaccines. Today is February 10th, so we're just about a week and a half into the phase two, stage one of the state's vaccine rollout schedule. This stage includes all Massachusetts residents who are age 75 plus, and we know that so many of you who are watching here at home. We also know that in the last few days, many of you have been very frustrated and overwhelmed with the vaccination registration process. There haven't been a lot of appointments available in our area, and the appointments that are available are only accessible through the online registration process. I'm here today to hopefully offer you some guidance and comfort throughout this process. I promise you we'll get through it together and things are improving as we, we move forward into the process. A couple of, of good news, um, the state has re very recently rolled out a phone-based registration assistance program. It's through their 211 line that you may have called in the past for information. So you can call that phone line now. On their menu, you'll, ex you'll press the vaccine registration option and someone can help schedule you for the appointments available. Within the next week, we are planning to offer a comparable program right through the Council on Aging. So hopefully by the end of next week, you can give us a call and we'll get you registered for these local and regional clinics. Until then, for those of you who do have access to internet and technology, we wanna help familiarize you with the process. So today I'm gonna guide you step by step exactly through the website and how you register from picking a site through the confirmation process. So stay tuned and I'll guide you through. I hope to see you soon. Hi folks, and welcome to the walkthrough of the online registration process for the COVID-19 vaccine. Before we get too far, I wanna let you know that we'll be posting a guide, a step-by-step -step guide to this process on the website. We'll also be able to share it by email and I can mail you hard copies right from the Council on Aging if you need it. So this is where we're starting. We're opening our internet browser. You can see that I'm on the Google homepage. So we're gonna go to our search bar up at the top and we're heading to the mass.gov website. So I'm typing in mass.gov, and then I would recommend typing in this next part, COVID-19-vaccine, and that will take you directly to the part of the website that will allow you to register. So this is what pops up. I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna skip right past this, are you 75 or older? Click here, we're gonna keep going down. You'll see the map that has the different vaccine sites highlighted with stars. And I'm going to click on this bar that says search for a vaccination location by zip code. You can see that it's automatically filled in our Harwich zip code of 02645. And then you can click this drop down arrow, which will show you how many miles you're willing to travel for your vaccine. So that I can give you the broadest picture possible, I'm selecting any, but please pick whatever you're most comfortable in terms of travel. So I'm gonna click search. And then as I scroll down, it's showing me the different sites that are available. You'll notice that the sites at the top are further away from us. These are the mass sites that have a high volume of appointments available. You've probably heard about Gillette, they're the closest site, and they do have tens of thousands of appointments available each week. So if you're looking to get an appointment quickly and you're able to travel that far, it's probably your best option. We know that that's not possible for a lot of folks, and we do promise that there will be more local sites coming on board in the next days and weeks. So I'm going to scroll down further to show you the map. So I'm scrolling using my mouse. And I've zoomed out, I apologize. I'm zooming back in. But you can also use the scroll bar over here. So on the right side of your screen, you'll see this bar. If you click, you can move up and down to see all the different available information. So I'm scrolling down and showing you the map of the state. You'll notice that all the stars are different colors and they do mean different things. So these large red stars are the mass sites. Those are the high volume sites that do have the largest number of available appointments. The yellow sites are the local and regional sites. So as we open different sites within Barnstable County, that's what you're most likely to see. 
The blue sites are the ones that are private clinics. So that's your CVS, your Stop and Shop, and your Walgreens. And then the green stars are the, the appointments offered by different health care clinics. So again, because of the appointment availability, I'm going to highlight the Gillette site for right now because that's going to be our best opportunity for getting through the full registration process. As I go through this, I want to assure you that the process is similar regardless of site type. So this is, I'm going to walk you through with Gillette, but as they become available in Barnstable County and hopefully close to us right here in Harwich, it's going to be the exact same process, the exact same steps. So if you watch this, you'll be very familiar as sites open up closer. So when I click on the star, this is what pops up. You'll see right here it says book an appointment in advance. So I'm going to click on this link. And then it takes me to this nice welcome page. I'm going to continue to scroll down. Again, I'm using my mouse pad, but you can use this scroll bar over on your right-hand side. I'm going to scroll down. It gives you information about the vaccine and then information about eligibility. So right now, as I'm recording, we're in phase one or phase two, stage one. So that includes everyone age 75 plus. Again, as this becomes available to folks in later stages, it will be the exact same process. So those of you who are 75 plus and are eligible now, please scroll on and we're going to click register now. And like I mentioned, we're going to go with Gillette, but it will be the same regardless of site that you pick down the line. These are the hours that they're offering appointments and I'm going to click schedule now. All right, and you will see that because I started with Gillette, Gillette is already filled in right here as the name of location. So I'm going to keep scrolling down. And then this will give you some information on the site. So it tells you which vaccine is offered, either the Moderna or the Pfizer, which groups are eligible, the service that they're offering, which is the vaccine. It'll give you some information about the site, again, the hours, and then it will tell you the number of appointments that are available at the time that you're registering. I'll let you know right now that typically for these mass sites, they release their appointments in batches, and typically it's on Thursdays. Right now it's a Wednesday as I'm recording, so you'll notice a lack of available appointments, but don't be dissuaded by that. I assure you that they are releasing a lot of appointments each week. So I'm going to keep scrolling down until I find a date that has an appointment available. Well, it looks like there aren't any dates for the remainder of this week with appointments available, but I'm still going to guide you through the process. So I'm going to pick tomorrow's date, and I'm going to click Sign Up for COVID-19 Vaccination. You'll notice the status bar at the top, so this tells you how many different pages you'll go through, and it'll change as you go through each page. So I'll complete this, hit Next, and it'll get me to personal information and so on. So the first step is to identify which priority group you're in. I'm clicking this drop down arrow. And for the sake of this example, we're an individual age 75 plus. Please know that if you're helping someone to sign up, please identify the group that they're in. So if I was helping someone age 75 plus, this is the category I would select, even if I'm not 75 plus myself. I'm then gonna click this box to say that I attest that I belong to this group or again, that the person I'm helping belongs to this group. And then I'm gonna hit save and continue. So for the sake of this demonstration, we've created a fake person. So I'm gonna enter this person's details to get you through the full process. So we're typing in her first name, Jane. I'm leaving the middle initial tab blank. Her last name is Senior. I'm filling in her personal information. So again, you just click the drop down arrow for each category. If it's easier for you, you can also use the tab key on your keyboard to go from category to category. So Jane is 81 years old, well within our eligibility group here. At the Council on Aging, we've created some resources to help with this process. So this is a live email address. You can email us with questions on the vaccine. We've also set up this phone number to receive vaccine related calls. So you're welcome to leave us a message and we will get back to you. 
is a mobile phone number. And we're using the address of the Council on Aging, which is 100 Oak Street. So once I enter that in, I'm going to hit save and continue. And this is where you'll enter your in insurance information. Now, if you don't have insurance, that does not mean you cannot get the vaccine. You can just leave this information blank or you'll hit, hit no insurance and then leave the other fields blank. Again, for the sake of this example, we're gonna use Medicare. I'm gonna fill in each field. I'm using generic X's here, but you'll have your member ID number right on your insurance card. Again, you may have a group number or an additional number. If you have those on your card, please fill them in. I'm leaving them blank for this example. Jane is the policy holder, so I'm entering her information. I'm tabbing through here just to move a little bit more quickly, but again, you can either click or tab. Jane is the policy holder herself. And then you'll see the option to upload the front and back of your insurance card. If you're able to take a photo and upload those, you're certainly welcome to. You're not required to to complete the process. So for right now, I'm not going to upload those files. If you have secondary insurance, you'll check yes and then enter the information for your secondary insurance. If not, you can leave the no selected and hit save and continue. This is gonna ask you some health questions. I want to let you know you should answer these honestly. Regardless of your answer, you'll be eligible for the vaccine. For some of the questions, if you select yes, they may provide additional follow-up at the time of your appointment, but please answer honestly, and again, you will be eligible to get the vaccine. So I'm signing up for my first dose at this point in time, so I'm going to select the first dose, and then I'm going to answer these questions. And I'm scrolling back up to the second column. And once I've finished answering them, I'm going to click save and continue. So then it will give you the option right at the top. It'll either say Pfizer or Moderna. So this is giving me the option for Moderna. That's the brand that's eligible at the Gillette site. So I'm going to check this box. And then you're going to sign that you consent for the vaccine. You'll see two options. You can either sign your name or type your name. When you're working on a computer, we really strongly recommend that you type your name. It tends to be a lot easier. So I'm going to select type my name and then I'm going to type my name. It'll automatically fill to today's date when I'm signing. I'll be signing it as myself. And then once I select self, it'll fill in my details. And then again, I'm going to click save and continue. And this is where you review the information that you've entered. So again, I'm just confirming that my personal information is correct. Name, date of birth, age, gender, email address, phone number. And then I'm confirming my insurance information and my answers to the health questions. I've consented for this service and signed my name. All of that information is correct, so I'm going to proceed. So as we could see from the very first site, there are no appointments available. When you go through this process, we hope this page looks different. You'll see the times that appointments are available, and then it will list the number of appointments available. So right now it says none, but typically this will say, you know, six appointments are available at 8, seven appointments are available at 8.07, and so on. So you'll see which time slots have appointments available, and then you'll click on this circle for the appointment time you'd like to schedule. So once you click on that, schedule, that circle, you'll scroll down. You can see that they schedule at very frequent intervals. Ah, there is an appointment available now, so I'm going to click this button. Scroll down, and I'm going to hit save and continue. And that's it. You'll get this pop-up button that says that your registration is complete. 
You'll receive a confirmation email at the email address that you've listed, and you'll bring that information with you to your appointment at your scheduled appointment time. So that's it, folks. That is the whole registration process, and that will be consistent regardless of site type. Again, we'll be happy to provide you with written instructions for using the website, and we're also available to assist you by phone. Thank you so much, and good luck.